this video, we're going to talk about how to use an external library in NS3. NS3 is a network simulator used by a lot of people for network related simulations for various use cases. Often there are use cases where people need to use some external libraries that provides different kinds of functionality that can be leveraged in network simulation. One use case that I can think of is fuzzy logic control. We have this real nice library that provides functionality through C++ and Java APIs for fuzzy logic control. So let's say you are doing a network simulation where you have some traffic congestion that you might want to control with some fuzzy logic rules. Let's see how we can do that. Now the objective is pretty clear. I'm assuming that you guys are probably familiar with C++, Python or any scripting language in general. It will be awesome that if you guys are also familiar with the compiler and linker faces in C++ programs in general. Although there might be other possible ways of integrating NS3 with external libraries, our way consists of a couple of steps. The very first step is to, to create a NS3 module using the create module.py script provided by NS3 itself. Then we will use the WAF build system and we will write a WAF script that will help NS3 look for external library resources such as fuzzy leg headers, static or shared libraries. Now in the end we will write a simple working sample program to demonstrate how we can use functionality from NS3 and fuzzy light together in one program. To do an environment setup I have created a docker image that I will simply pull from docker hub. It's completely okay if you're hearing about docker for the first time. If you've heard about virtualization or virtual machines in general, you will find the concept pretty similar. Although Docker has a lot of applications, in this all you need to know about is that it will help me create a quick fresh copy of an Ubuntu with NS3 and Fuzzy Light pre-configured build installed on the So let's quickly go ahead and run this command. Now this assumes that you have docker installed on your machine. Now that the image has been downloaded, let's quickly go and check if it was downloaded correctly. So we will simply use this command docker image list to see the list of images. So as you can see we have this image downloaded right here. Let's move on to the next step. Now what's happening right here is that this image which is essentially a container which comes with the Ubuntu operating system itself with NS3 already installed, configured, built, everything. Let's go to CD Home NS3. As you can see here, this is the root directory. Now we will go to NS3 3.30.1 and here we have the source directory that has all the different modules that NS3 provides. This is the root WAF script. Following the steps what we're going to do is that we're going to create a NS3 module using the create module.py script and then we're going to use WAF build system and we're going to write a WAF script to help NS3 look for the fuzzy light libraries and then we will talk about the sample program later. So now we'll simply go to SRC. So let's go ahead and create the module. We'll call this fuzzy light demo. So as you can see, creating module run WAF configure to include it in the build. Well, before we run WAF configure, let's see what is in the created module. So we will simply go to fuzzy light demo. So we will simply focus on the examples directory here because executable code should idly be in examples. Doc will have the documentation, helper will have all those different header files, the model might have the actual source code and you will have the test suits here. Anyways that's quite the big picture. We will go inside examples and see that we have two different files. One is the sample code itself and other is the script file. So let's see what's inside the script file. So this script file is simply a Python code which says that 
create a NS3 program with this name which has the source as this file so let's see what's in what is in the source file so it's it's a simple small uh, C++ program which is calling these run and destroy functions from NS3 so the actual work begins here NS3 provides us this WAF build system which we should leverage to make our life easier for other people who are familiar with build systems such as make or cmake the idea is completely relevant to this so what we will do is we will simply append these three different lines to what we saw here after this what we are doing here is we're simply telling ns3 that oh look for includes which is the headers which are under this path and then we're telling it to go look for some libraries under this path and the name of libraries is fuzzy light let's go copy that so we will simply say wim script as you can see we will go into insert mode we'll paste it and we will save our changes and we will do the same for fuzzy light now i have this fuzzy light sample that I simply got from the fuzzy light website itself were here so they have an example in C++ that I simply used as it is what I simply did was I combined the example from fuzzy light and some simple function calls from NS3 itself and then I have this little success uh, message that should print telling that everything was fine so the idea is that we're simply demonstrating that within the same program we can run NS3 uh, related code and fuzzy light related code. Let's go ahead and copy this and I will quickly remove all this code. Go into insert mode and we have this thing. Now that we remember what did we had to do after creating this module we had to run WAF configure but we have to remember one thing first of all we need to go back into the root directory because this WAF script right here is the one that well you can see the WAF executable right is right here so ideally all the WAF calls will either relatively or absolutely will have to be made from here I will say WAF configure but since we have this code in examples folder so we need to explicitly say that enable examples and we'll hit enter all we need to do is use this command and see what is going on so we will say wav run name of the program which we gave to the program right here so it's the same name as you can see here and then dash v is simply for the verbose flag well the output will be verbose so what simply happened here was that waf was able to locate any changes and the changes were right here in this particular example source file so what it did was that it compiled it again with all these different flags so here you can see that right right here it has the include flag which is simply telling it to go look for the headers right here and then we have the linking phase going on where the linker is simply uh, linking all the objects different objects together with uh, dependent libraries in this case we have this core debug and demo debug and uh, fuzzy light library so the build finish successfully here and here we can see the output of the program and here we have our success printed right here so let's say you want to you want this example and then you want this w script so this you can easily go grab from this particular link here which i can show here yes so this is my github here you will find this repository it has this example code with with the sample code example and the valve script so what so let's say in in your own machine you have downloaded fuzzy light somewhere well this will be fuzzy light 6.0 something then you just need to make sure that 
these paths are correct and people who are interested in the docker and i have uh, both the links here so you can simply go pull this docker image run this and these are the four steps that you need to just simply run please hit like subscribe share